Hey. Hi, Nick. How are you? Yeah, good. Um, Stephanie's here. Uh, are you all right for her to come in? Yeah, fantastic. Okay, no worries. I'll just go. Could you just wait a bit? I'll just go get her. Steph? How are you? Very good, thank you. Thank you. Here you go, Steph, in the middle. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Renee. How is everyone? Hello, Dr. Andrea. So you can see me all right and you can hear me all right? Yes, can you hear us? Yeah, yep, I can see you and I can hear you really well. Good. So how are you, Stephanie? Okay. Talk You're about right? Fantastic, how do you like being on TV? Are you excited? Yes. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you know it's Stephanie and Mum TV, hi. <laughs> Do you know why? Hi. Do you know why we're here today? <laughs> your mum's been worried about your face, and I hear you've been worried about your face too. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about it? It's all about your face. What would you like Mum to? Nothing. It appeared probably about or six months old, no, probably about three months ago, and it was smaller than what it is now. It, it actually is raised up a little bit more now, and it's become more pronounced, actually. It's, it's, it's much more noticeable. I brought her in to see the GP to find out exactly what it was. I thought it looked like it might have been a wart, but I wasn't sure, and I wasn't going to touch it in case it wasn't. So, um, yeah, and... It's, it's probably been about three months now since she's had it and I thought it might have just resolved itself and gone away but it just it hasn't. I thought it might have been maybe a little pimple or something but it just hasn't gone away. It's gotten bigger if anything. And has it been sore or inflamed or reddened or had any pus that you noticed? Not that I've noticed but has it hurt? Does it hurt Steph? Mm -mm. No. Hasn't hurt her at all. Has it bothered you at all? Tell Dr. Andrea what you just told me though. Tell her what you just said. Sometimes it changes colour. So Steph's noticed that it has does change colour sometimes. It goes a bit darker. Black and brown. And have you had any bleeding from it at all? No. No, no, no. bleeding. And when I have have you noticed that she's scratched or been scratching at it? No, she's very conscious of it and doesn't let anyone touch it, not even me, so. Mm. Yeah. And have you had any other concerns or noticed anything else at the same time? No, no, I thought it might have been, um, you know, they talk about that foot and mouth, uh, hand, foot and mouth, I think it is, that kids get, so I thought it might have been that, so I checked if there were any other similar lesions, but there were there weren't any anywhere else, just on her cheek. Yeah. So she hasn't had any particular fevers or illnesses during that time? No, nothing, nothing else significant. No. Yeah. And is she otherwise well? Otherwise well. Have you had any other worries about her health? No, otherwise well. Everything else is pretty good, actually. Yeah. No other medical problems, nothing... Do you take some medication for? She doesn't take any. She's had to go to hospital for? No, nothing like that. No. And the immunisations, are they up to date? Yeah, they're up to date. Her immunisations? Proud to say. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And is everyone else at home well? You haven't had anybody else with anything similar any, or any illnesses? No, no. No one's been sick. The only thing we have, uh, we play a fair bit of sports. So there's been a few sports injuries, but that's about it. Nothing else that could possibly be related to this, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I've ever seen a sports injury quite like this. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I saw, yeah, I saw the photos that you sent 
came through. Yep. That came through really clearly. Fantastic. Um, so, Nick, have you got a set of ops there for her? Uh, yep, I'll just um, switch over. Uh, so, the height and weight is good. She's uh, Her temp is average, normal. And uh, her breathing looks fine. And she doesn't have a fever? No, her fever's good. Uh, does she have any lymph nodes that are inflamed in the area? Um, no, it didn't look like it. It looks like just that spot. How would, how would you describe the lesion, Nick? Um, it does look pimply, but it has, looks like it's grown out of control. Okay. Well, I actually sent those photos on because when I looked at it, I wasn't quite sure what it was either. Um, and of course, whenever you get a, a skin lesion where you don't quite know what it is, then you're considering either that it might need to be biopsied or... You know, if you're thinking of removing it, I might have to refer her to a dermatologist anyway. So I uploaded the photos onto the teledermatology website, and um, I heard back from Dr. Jim Muir. He was really prompt. It was fantastic. And um, he thought it might have been um, a pyelomyxioma, which is, I'd actually never heard of it before, so it's nice to know that it was well worth getting that opinion. Um, he thought the next step for her would be to get an ultrasound of the lesion to try and confirm the diagnosis. And then I think once we've got the ultrasound and that um, the report that goes with that, then we can either have another chat with him about management or uh, Brisbane Aches have got a dermatologist that visits down at Woolloongabba. So what we've been doing at some of the other sites is sending them into Woolloongabba to be seen at the dermatology clinic there. Mm -hmm. So depending on what, you know, comes from the ultrasound um, and what's easiest for you guys, we can just go from there. So, Nick, would you be happy to order an ultrasound there to be done locally? Ah, uh, yep, no worries. Steph? Yep. Yep. Fantastic. And once you've got the report back, uh, we can get in touch again and work out where we go from here. Okay, no worries. Yep. So it's definitely not just a wart? Right. Um, no. No. think of it as a wart. Yep. He thought it might have been a, a, possibly a few other alternatives, um, but really did think that the pyelomyxioma was the most likely. One of the alternatives was what's called a spitz nevus, which is um, a, you know, a variant on a, a mole that would have been there already on her face and it makes me think that's less likely. So we just do the ultrasound and, um, and go from there. Excellent. So a, a Thank nice you. One, a nice one to have sold so quickly with those beautiful photos that you sent through. Thank you. Makes life much easier. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Andrea. And certainly, if you're wanting to do anything, if you're wanting to do anything about it, if that is an is an option, if it's really distressing, then, then it will be probably a referral to a dermatologist to get it um, okay. because of where it is on her face and making sure she doesn't have scarring. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. I didn't right. want her to be scarred. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Fantastic. Did you have any questions at this stage? Me? Steph? You got any questions? No? Steph, we're all did good. Did you have any questions? <laughs> yeah. You've been fantastic. You've been so good sitting there. All right. I'll see you later. See Bye. You. See Bye. You. See ya.